Hey guys, welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We're finally here. The third game in the series so far. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is going to be an extension. A s the sequel to Assassin's Creed 2. Immediately afterwards. And as you can tell, this menu has uh, the first game's menu and the second game's menu. I'm sure you guys have played this game before. It's one of the most memorable Assassin's Creed games made. It takes place in Rome. Now, I played this game a few times. Um, I played it back last year and then two years prior. We're right, going to play it again, but this time I'm re-recording it. Alright guys, let's delve into Ezio's second game, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Already, we're gonna get on, get on going. Multiplayer shutdown. Uh, you can no longer play it. Uh, unfortunately, I never played it, but I heard it was fun. So, so starting a new session, and we're gonna call ourselves the Melon Save. I am playing the game ultra wide as well, as you can probably tell. Brave of you to stand alone against me, but also quite foolish, assassin. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins. A group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner. Strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. And it's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors. Discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad. An assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy, 
When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures, but we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. You have to play in the first game and then the second game and now this, it's pretty crazy. Oh. Oh, the armor for civilization. Minerva. The armor, though. How did you fight? Mario Avitore, let me hear. <laughs> Dang, look at those invading armies. I have to be run good. some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Good old solar system right there. Questions. The game already looks so much better than the last. They improved like the shading and the, and the lighting. Oof. The vaults. Oh, he got away. Yeah. We saw that coming. in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle. What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Jesus, that, again, like I said in the last series, the last episode of AC2, is the architecture of the last, of the first civilization is ridiculous. It's just absurd. But they left their temples and their artifacts for us to find. Mario looks cool. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. 
The details of the characters look better too. Wow. It's cool. We were here moments ago. Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio. Now! Alright, just fix the volume. Turn away from them. Oh. We're back here. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. In the room. My armor blunted his attack. Oh yeah, look at that. The Cardinals. Be ready to fight. This is the blades. I'm not sure actually. Saving you on the look of things. Not bad for an old man. Agree, you still have some skills. I know they made combat easier in Brotherhood. I do recall. Oh yeah, the window for attacking is much easier. Instead of pressing X at the right moment, you can keep tapping X. This is a choice. So I can. I can! Yes! That's good. Practically identical. They have health bars now. At least, you know, better ones. And proper controller support, finally. Move it that way, move. We are assassins. It's so cool seeing the, the series like evolve over time. In controls and Graphical fidelity. Bring it. Oh. Okay, Mario got him. Oh, I can, I can. Nope, I ain't going nowhere. What up, Mario? Ooh. Ooh, that's your family. Ooh. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump!
Biff. Biff. Ma altre giovani. Then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See. Si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? Good question. <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. What's that, Harris? Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. Beautiful sky. The Italian countryside. Man, we, up we upgraded this whole thing last time we played in an AC2. Oh, we can actually go in the city, can we? With the horse, because the first game and the second game, you can't do it. Welcome back, Ezio. Ezio! Look, it is Ezio! Let me see! Buongiorno! Salve, Mario! It's good to be home. Two of them. But this place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. It's true. Mother! Claudia! It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study well, tonight. Explain not really. There. Steal yourself, it's you. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. <laughs> the men in this town are no better than little girls. An army should be helping me. And look, no one. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Mm. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. Oh, if you are willing yeah. to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh, what do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Okay. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. Next. Oh, it's the cannons one. Let's go do that one. Perfect. Ah, most impressive. 
Most impressive, yes. Beautiful. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, <laughs> but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. <clears throat> Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. <laughs> no one else will touch my cannons. The last cannons, Soldiers I guess, have huh? no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from France. Yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> hmm. That is the future. I have one. <laughs> Leonardo made it for me. Well, oh, deciphered it on the codex. What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. I'll go first. Aim at something to test the alignment. And easy maximum damage. This one. Same straightforward. I mean, how can you mess it up? I mean, it's easy. The aim mechanism is fine. The problem behind is behind it? Behind the cannon. Ah, behind it. Perfect. Nice. At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for the other one. Must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. They'll be practicing at dawn. Got it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's one of these things. They introduced in this game. To lift. Amazing. Oh. Ooh. Buongiorno. Ezio. Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. That's bro. No. 
The trick is to wait. It's a fast walk. No. If I can do it. There we go. Uh, here. Grazie, zio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Arrivederci. Go. Okay. Caterina. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek, but we will talk later. Mother. Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. Told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vaults <laughs> did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. <laughs> Who is Desmond? And That's where crazy. Are these temples They're saying his name. I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return. No, none of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together. We should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Rome. The only one man will it's stop the whole army. I do not know why you army. stand in, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Yeah, killing one man will stop an order. Just the Templars. Oh, it's the it's our room. At the beginning of the Witcher. On the top of the castle. Uh, 2010 graphics. Welcome home. Don't look bad for 2010, though, but the standards are really, uh, different.
It's a banging music right there for such a good. Oh, it's the, the morning. That's right. Look at them polygons. Just looks fine back then, then though. Oh, so sweet. It's your love life. It's complicated. Ready to go again? Well, this is the morning. No need to ask. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. To What's that? Probably just training exercises. Alright. Maybe not. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. Oh. Oh, that's that's an army. The Borsha. Oh. It's the Borgia. How did we not see this? They must have massed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la victoria. We stand together. Yeah. Uncle. Be careful. I will. <laughs> there wasn't all our stuff. And my tension is being destroyed. That's we upgraded all the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll go this way. This way. All my upgrades. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, we're good. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Oof. You're unsorry, thank God. We must put them back and see the villagers escape. And for the cannon! Oh boy. I remember failing this a lot. Took like two or three tries. Because you don't really see the people. It's so crazy. The, the massive army of the Templars. Here again. So the last attack that we saw like this was in the first game. Oh, with Altair. But not, nowhere near this large. This is the Wrath of the Borgia. The music though, man. The music though. Let's see fortifications. Amazing, epic. That is this. That is this intro. I just have one cannon. Oh. Splash damage. I'm not gonna make it. There's no way. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! There we go. Phew. That was close. You have saved 
That was too close. It hit zero when I hit zero. Oh. Oh no. This is crazy. Don't. For counting on the hidden blades. Thank you. Bring it. Boards of bastards. Well, the sound still in the game. Oh, right in your head. Oh, he just died. I don't think I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> oh, hello. Ooh, countered. What the fuck will do? Oh man, yeah, that's right. What the hell are you doing out there, man? Chesare. I know you're there, Ezio. The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. And this. To be the god his friend fashion for us. Oh, when Leonardo. Bloodshed, Forge that weapon. Cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours. <laughs> Poor Mario. A cleansing in his order, that's crazy. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! Ugh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! No! Oh. Fight went back to the villa, okay. This guy's shot in the in the shoulder. It's crazy. Oh, oh damn. I'm trying to counter. Oh, the combo system. It's like, if you hit enough attacks, you can actually instantly, like, hit it one shotting all the enemies. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing now? <sighs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Wanna hop over the wall? I can't hop over the wall apparently. That works. That does work. Select the weapon. Yeah. Ah! Clunky. No. Different than the first game. Second game. Cause you can, you can hold X to fire your weapon now. Bring it. It's range. Oh. I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! 
We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. Let me through. I must go help the troops. Okay. Hurry, Ezio! Uh, where's Mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie, Dio. Grazie, Dio. You could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Wow. Woo, things have just changed greatly. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town. Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. He never even got healed because he couldn't. Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Peace of Eden. Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. Oh yeah, the Vila. It's crazy after we just saw it get destroyed. That's amazing. To find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait. We're at the Auditori Villa. Yes, Villa. it's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly maybe? <laughs> I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory-like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Well, that flashback. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, well, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you <laughs> skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Damn. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. What an asshole? This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. Damn. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. So cool being here. We saw it get destroyed in the past. <laughs> There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's your next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I'll leave this episode off here. Thank you for watching to this point if you made it this far. We are finally in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the sequel to the second game and the third in the, in the franchise so far.
But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we continue the story further and we go into the villa and find the secret entrance.